Okay, let's start. I'm uh, Yu Zhang from uh, Intel Open Source Technology Center. And uh, here I'd like to say something about uh, the five live paging in Zen. Okay. So first I'd like to give a summary of the current uh, architecture of uh, Intel X uh, 80X64, uh, um, and uh, I'd like to explain why do we need five level paging, and uh, also a brief uh, introduction of five level paging. Uh, after that, I'd uh, give a brief overview of uh, Zen design considerations of five level paging. And uh, first, uh, we we know that uh, Intel X86, uh, which is also known as uh, i32e, has been around for more than a decade, and uh, almost uh, every modern operating system supports this paging mode. Uh, although 64-bit uh, is a linear address, but uh, the only uh, only the least uh, uh, lower 40 48-bit. Uh, uh, really counts when the memory address uh, translation happens. That means uh, the linear address space addressable would be 256 uh, uh, TB. As to the physical memory address, uh, uh, current existing uh, uh, Intel processors uh, uh, limit the maximum value of this weight to 40 po uh, 46 bit at most, which means uh, most uh, uh, biggest, the biggest uh, physical address uh, space uh, is uh, 60 and uh, 64 TB. Well, as to the memory size concerned, uh, six, 64 uh, TB is uh, a pretty big value. But uh, we are also hearing voices from industry requiring even more bigger memory size uh, for the uh, future requirement. For example, uh, there are very, uh, uh, very lo quite a lot of requirement for the database, uh, which is uh, uh, aggressively moving to the in-memory database, and uh, we also see some uh, huge, uh, large-scale systems, uh, which is shipping uh, platforms, so which has uh, reaching the limit of uh, 64 TB memory size. And also, as you may know, that Intel has and Meikwan has announced a new um, non-volatile memory technology, which is 3D cross point. And if you see from the right side of this feature, uh, you can see the 3D cross point memory is uh, between the DRAM and the NAND SSD. It is considerably faster than NAND, and uh, it is more endurable than NAND. And uh, it is uh, denser than DRAM and uh, with lower cost. So two-level system memories based on DRAM and uh, 3D cross point uh, will give us uh, a future that uh, enables the physical memory size with a huge size and probably bigger than 64 TB. And from the software point of view, uh, most uh, modern operating systems require two more linear address bits than the physical ones. One extra bit is needed to provide uh, the split between the user space and uh, the kernel space. And another extra bit is uh, needed uh, to map the whole, uh, whole physical address space into the kernel linear address space. Uh, so that we do not have to face the low memory, high memory issue which existed in the 32-bit era. So as a conclusion, with uh, physical memory size greater than 64-bit uh, being foreseeable, we may have to uh, enable a linear address uh, width greater than 48-bit. And that means uh, four level paging would be not enough by then. So this is an uh, overview of the five-level paging, and uh, as you can see, it is uh, also named as LA57, which uh, is uh, extends uh, linear address space width 
from 48 to 57. And the, as to the physical dress size, although Intel specs says that the maximum physical, uh, uh, Intel specs uh, spec says that the physical dress in the pitting structure entry can be, can use 52 bit. But uh, in fact, only uh, 46 bit are used at most in existing processors. But with fellow pitting, uh, the physical dress uh, in the pitting structure entry can really be extended to up to 52 on processors uh, which have fellow pitting. And uh, with the extended uh, linear dress width comes a new canonical requirement. As you can see from this figure, that uh, for in the 48-bit era, we have 40-bit canonical, and uh, uh, you, uh, a linear, uh, address is considered as a canonical when the bit 64 to bit 47 are either all cleared or all set will be considered as a canonical. Otherwise, uh, there are non-canonical addresses. Uh, translations for these non-canonical addresses will cause GP fault or uh, SS fault. And uh, with 57-bit uh, linear address width, the canonical requirement uh, will be a new one, which is 57-bit uh, canonical. Uh, it means that uh, address is considered to be canonical when the bit 64 to bit uh, 56 are all, either all cleared or all set. And uh, as you can uh, notice that a uh, 57-bit canonical address might be a 48 non-canonical one. So we need to take uh, extra care uh, for this part. And uh, another trickier part is that uh, uh, with five line paging, a new canonical checking mode is introduced, which is uh, the CPU canonicality. That means an address is considered as canonical as long as uh, the, 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 uh, this address follows the maximum linear address supported by the real CPU. So even it is running in four level paging mode, an address can be considered as uh, canonical uh, for this part. So this CPU canonicality requirement is uh, mostly for spa some special re registered loads. And uh, for the paging mode canonicality is uh, mostly required for the memory, size, memory translation process. And with a wider physical address width, uh, we hypothesize, for example, need to take uh, extra caution uh, when uh, trying to traverse the guest pitch table, uh, we need to check a new reserved bit mask. And uh, also uh, comes a new EPT mode, which is uh, five level EPT. And uh, uh, it must, uh, it, it should have other impacts such as LMMU when the guest physical address is extended. And uh, I can say there will be more uh, features that would be influenced by the extended uh, physical address, but uh, I cannot see that feature. Okay, this is a figure showing that uh, the five level paging uh, translation. As you can see, it's a uh, quite straightforward extension of the four level paging, uh, just adding another level of paging structure on top of the four level paging. And uh, the entry of PML5 is, has, has an identical uh, structure as PML4 uh, entries. So enable the file paging in Zen means that we need to provide support of file paging to HVM. And uh, we need to provide file paging in Zen and uh, we may need to deal with um, PV guests 
and uh, we also need to consider, for example, whether we need to support that in shadow. But uh, the easiest part, which is most straightforward one, is uh, we uh, provide the file-level paging enabling for HVM. So we just expose the uh, LA57 feature to HVM with the CPU ID enumeration, and uh, we can extend the guest page table traversing logic. Uh, and uh, in hypervisor, uh, we can introduce a two-stack configurable parameter, uh, which is the maximum uh, physical address exposed to the guest. I mean. Only when the guest is exposed uh, with a uh, maximum physical address greater than 48, will the hypervisor choose to use five-level EPT. So, I mean, even if the guest is running with uh, five-level five paging, uh, as long as its guest physical address width is uh, smaller than 48, we can still try to use uh, the four-level EPT so that we don't not need to worry about the performance downgrade. Okay, we're at time now. Okay. And uh, for the uh, five-level paging support in Zen, uh, it's much more complicated. We have many difficulties. So here I just uh, list some of them. Uh, one is that uh, the, for example, if we want to introduce five-level paging, we need to modify some uh, um, definitions, but uh, the definitions are used uh, in the ideal page table construction, which is built at, uh, constructed at build time. So it's hard for us to introduce a new definition for this, these values without moving this uh, construction of page table into dynamic uh, uh, building. Also, for the file-level paging support in PV domain, it, it is uh, still controversial uh, if it is worthy, uh, if we consider the PVH domain, domain zero status. Also, we might need to uh, provide the paging mode switch uh, to, for example, to support the UEFI boot. But paging mode uh, switch, it would be painful. And, uh, other opens like uh, shadow mode uh, support. And uh, I have heard uh, different voices from community on uh, whether we or not we should support five level paging in shadow. So here my proposal is we provide a basic enabling to put them in five level paging first. And uh, we can consider to add new enhancements uh, step by step. So for the basic enabling, uh, we can provide a logic to support a new paging mode with a separate binary. And uh, I mean, we can introduce some uh, configurations and uh, which limit the hypervisor only support five level paging. But we also need to consider moving the paging mode construction, uh, paging structure construction uh, into runtime so that we can at least support four-level paging and five-level paging in one binary. Also, we am considering to fabricate a four-level of paging mode to PV domains. That means the by fabricating, it means the PV domain is running in five-level paging, in fact, but it is cheated uh, to be running in four-level paging mode. Okay, we're now five minutes over almost. So okay. To wrap this up. So also we can compare out the shadow paging at the first stage, and uh, we can provide support for shadow, file level shadow, uh, if necessary. And uh, so for the future enhancement, uh, we can support uh, some uh, other impacted features. For example, as uh, uh, LMMU, and uh, we need to we need to support the runtime paging mode switch. And um, we may need to provide support for file live paging in shadow. And uh, whether or not to support file live paging in PV, uh, I think it uh, depends on the status of PVH domain zero. 
Uh, we will have a discussion session this afternoon, and uh, you're welcome to share your insights. And uh, that's all. Mm. Hey, thank you. I think we'd better move straight on now. Okay. Sorry, I don't have time to answer questions. Uh, that's all. Thank you.